Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to upload a full XFC desktop movie, or I may pretend I have a life and do nothing. But regardless, this change deserves a special video itself. Let me show you if you don't know already. Now we're on 4.16 which is the current stable Thunder release, and assume we want to search for the EIE files. That's a helper for the hour repository if you want to know. Anyway, if we press Ctrl F, it will open that little box on the right bottom, that is you may know from older GNOME versions it can match files on current view, but on this case is not good enough, because we need to look recursively. So what we need to do, or at least what I think we should do, because I'm not an XFCE user myself, is to add a custom action. Let's call it search, and on command we'll invoke the catfish, which by the way it doesn't even come pre-installed on a default Arch installation. And give it a shortcut too. Also on conditions we should select the folders view, otherwise it won't work. And we done, so let's operate. For start we can use search directly from the context menu, and that is the catfish window. Searching for the yay files again, and now we'll get some results, although the search view isn't particularly great. But even worse, when we try to open a file, that will open to a new Thunder window, and the catfish will stay open. Perhaps we can adjust this behavior, I don't know, but it's awful whatsoever. XFCE GitLab, and a merge request that adds recursive search to Thunder. So big thing, so much excitement, that Thunder developer actually spells Thunder wrong. Coco? Sound effect maybe? And that's after the merge request, and on Thunder 4.17 from the main branch. Watch me operating. Control F will now open a search box on toolbar, and we immediately switching to a list mode. Searching for the yay files again, and it recursively gives us both the results and the locations. It's not as good as GNOME files because it misses filtering, but I'm pretty sure it will still make super happy all Thunder users. Meanwhile check this out. We can set different wallpapers for desktop. And the procedure is quite simple. Depending on what desktop you open the background options, you can set an individual wallpaper. XFC might not be that dead after all. I mean they're even on Google Summer of Code with three projects. One is for Thunder. The other is for Thunder. And the last is for something very different. The Summer of Thunder. 